say welcome to everyone, uh, all current stu uh, students, all of our guests tonight. Uh, we're very happy and pleased to have uh, this panel tonight of our graduates who work on the Guitar Hero video game. My name is Eric Elder. I'm the Game Industry Development Representative. Uh, I started the Game Art and Design Program here about five years ago, uh, game programming last year, uh, and also the Game Wizards Production Team, which uh, all of these guys were on at one point. Um, and so, um, let's get started. I'm Justin Parrish, uh, I'm a motion capture technician. And uh, yeah, I do motion capture, so we work with all the, uh, the actors that come in and uh, get them all in crazy mocap suits and make sure we get all their animations for our game. I do the same thing. My name is Sean. I'm Chris Boltz, and I am an environment artist. I pretty much design the stage and environments that you see the characters performing in. My name is Dan. Uh, I'm a level art, not a level, I'm a prop artist. All the uh, instruments you guys see in the game, guitars, drums, basses, that's what I do. And yeah, well, I've been here for about two years now. So for those of you who don't know about the Game Wizards program, it is a special class that we have. It's actually uh, an official part of our curriculum now, not an elective. It goes uh, three quarters. We work on a new game mod um, every nine month cycle. We do pre-production and production quarter. Uh, but the class was designed to be as close to a real world production team as possible in the classroom. Uh, and again, the, the, the program itself is it's uh, five years old now, Game Wizards, going on six years old, and we've done somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 or 16 projects, uh, and we just started a new cycle this quarter. Um, I heard about the Game Wizards program when I was up in Canada about five, six years ago. They are doing mods for an old tournament, and that spoke highly to me because I was a huge gaming geek trapped up in an old tournament. Uh, what got me coming to AI? Faculty. Just looking at the faculties, like their references and what they worked on. Well. Me personally, I just love video games, you know, ever since I was a child. And finding a school that was tailored specifically for that was, you know, like a dream come true for me. I, I didn't need to look any further. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to uh, uh, work with games because I was good with computers and I liked art. I knew I could, uh, if I stayed home and did it myself, I could learn all the stuff through books and online. But the important thing to me was networking and it, I think it still stands up and holds to this day that networking is an important thing. And I looked at the schools that do game art and design stuff, and there's, there's DigiPin in Washington, and there's AI in LA, and there's very few others that really, really focus on game art and design. So the, I knew the industry was in LA, and I knew all the people working on games were in LA, so I came to LA. Um, the uh, first time I heard about Game Wizards was uh, when uh, the team was working on Mage's Mayhem way back in, I think it was their first project. First game, yeah. So uh, I saw those guys and they were always talking about it and I saw what they did and I was like, dude, that's awesome. I totally want to do that. So ever since that moment, I just kept trying to be part of Game Wizards. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was still sitting in Game Wizards. They're like, who are you? I was like, I'm Justin. What's up? Let me do something. And they gave me something to do and then, you know, it just stuck. So, you know, um, and the school, I had a friend. She went here for an animation degree and she told me about. Uh, the whole like uh, game art program, so I was like, hey, I should check it out. So I came down here. It really like it's it's not only like a great experience as far as like a job experience, but you'll meet like some of your best friends. They're like, I met all these guys there. We all end up working together. So it's like you know, an awesome place just to meet friends, meet like future coworkers, to meet you know lots of people, and it gets you comfortable working in the game kind of industry environment. So, so yeah, another important part to pick up on here is. Um, well, one thing is like you, you guys start to get to know each other on the game, which is team and, and network there. So you really start to get, um, build a reputation for yourself. Um, you know, people remember if you're there on time every day, if you get your work done, what your level of work is. And then also I think everyone up here at one point or another was a, was a lead, right? So that's another great opportunity that you get is being on a team with 60, 70 people um, once you, you put in um, you know, some work and have some experience, you can get promoted to be in a lead, you can be an art lead, you can be a project lead. Um, I mean, I think the opportunity to, to pitch your own project and have an entire team of people work on it is you know, something that's, that's pretty rare um, and something that's great to have while you're in school. Uh, it's, it's something that may happen in, in the industry at some point, but it's not likely unless you, you know, really have a lot of uh, titles and experience under your belt. 
All right, so I think the first project that I started on was Thunder Flash, and pretty much for that, I started at the very bottom. None of the people in there like knew who I was at all. My first thing I had to um, create just like a, a standard crate or whatever, and after a while they saw, you know, I'm really interested in, you know, doing the project and stuff. Went from there to doing a lot of the textures to actually becoming a level designer on that project because of my dedication to the actual team. And then from there, I worked on Detox, and after Savage left, I was the overall lead artist for that project, which was an amazing experience. I still tell people today, you know, it sounds kind of corny, but it did kind of change my life in a way because just the amount of responsibility that you have to take control of a 80 person team, it's, uh, it's a crazy experience. Um, I started in uh, Monster Smash. And just like these guys said, you start at the very bottom. I was making shrubs and rocks and all like the small, ridiculous assets that nobody else would do. But I was the worst in the group out of 80, so that's what I was doing. From there over the years, worked my ass off, started hanging out with these guys, pulling all-nighters, went to Thunder Flash, which is a World War II mod. Me and Adrian Murphy presented uh, Detox, and somehow they voted for us. And we were in charge of like 80 or 90 kids. Eric also mentioned one good thing is you present an ego and a persona of who you are in Game Wizards. People get to know who you are, you come in late if you're putting the hours in, and that's really important. So I, I think that program is definitely like something everybody that is interested in working should do for some time, because there's a lot to learn there, and there's a, that group experience is, uh, you can't replace that, like you can't, you, think you're a lone wolf and you can work on your own, you slap yourself because you need to know how to work with people, you need to know how to talk with people, you need to know how to take directions pro properly, you, know, you need to know how to give directions properly. It's, I mean, that's, that program is something else now.